Ohio State comes up agonizingly short of reaching the national championship game, a 42-41 loss to Georgia here at the Peach Bowl. We are grading C.J. Stroud, as you do after every game, we have for the past two seasons of him being Ohio State's starting quarterback. And uh, obviously, he was going to need a great performance to go out as a, a winner, I guess, keep playing for another week. And he had a great performance, but doesn't get to play for another week. Stephen, what is your grade for C.J. Stroud tonight? giving him an A. It feels like there's been a lot of his losses where we've gone. CJ Stroud played really good, but it wasn't enough to overcome all these other issues that were going on. This is a good other case of that, but this is that typical because he literally did everything anybody would have asked him to do. And in the running game, let him move. He let him be aggressive. And he threw it vertical, horizontal, all over the place. Uber efficient with it. And then he started running. Scrambling, they were all the you know, design runs for him. They let CJ loose today, let him do Whatever, and he literally put them in a position to win the game, and he missed the hit. But I don't know what more CJ Stroud could have done tonight if he did. Yeah, sweet feet, CJ Stroud. I think he would have had like 70 sack adjusted yards or something like that tonight if he became a, a bigger part of his game than I think anybody would have been expecting. Doug, what did you think? So I'm giving him an A. He winds up trying to drive for the winning score in a playoff game without Jackson Smith and Jake Bud, Marvin Harrison Jr., Trevion Henderson, Mayan Williams, and Kate Stone. And they gained 40 whatever yards in the first three plays of that drive, including the 27 yard run. Um, he, he carried the team, right? He, he did, and, and, and it's been a complicated, I think, discussion. I think everybody realizes that, the legacy of C.J. Stroud. Um, I hope that this does something. They didn't win, but I think for for the player that we know C.J. Stroud is, um, this situation on this level, this level of competition, this stadium, just like everything, it was like he showed everybody who he is, which is a tremendous work. And so um, I don't, I, no, I was I was hanging out with C.J. a little bit in the side hall afterward, and. Uh, like what else could he have done? He wasn't saying that, but like, what else could you have done? Like, I don't. What else could he have done? So um, they lost. But I, I think maybe C.J. Stroud sort of won something for the way that he'll be remembered as an Ohio State quarterback. I hope that's the case because I, I think he played. Uh, I think he played like an elite Buckeye. I was actually so distracted by this game that I didn't do what we always do, which is give you the numbers on C.J. Stroud, which were. 24, 23 of 34, 348 yards, four touchdowns, got sacked four times, no interceptions, and the, the rushing was uh, 30, it was only a net of 34 yards, he lost 37, and a lot of that was a sack yard, it's almost four sacks, it's really, like I said, more around uh, 70 rushing yards, it's, it, it's got to be an A, I, I, I thought, you know, we talked in the locker room with a lot of guys, and Donovan Jackson got the question, you know, hey, what would you say about CJ's performance, and his first words were, CJ was a leader, and they, they had to have the best version of him against this defense in this at this level in this environment uh, you had to have I think the best version of CJ Stroud and again considering the weapons that he was playing without you know, the weapons he started the game without and then the weapons he ended the game without that's almost like two separate conversations to lose Harrison to lose Stover to not have Mayan Williams in, in a real way for most of this game hardly any of this game uh, it, it became CJ Stroud's game to win or lose and he, I did everything he could have done to win it. Another A for C.J. Stroud, and uh, I agree with Doug. Um, an impressive career that I, I hope gets put in the right perspective. Because it, I said this after the Michigan game. I think it comes down more to, you could argue the Ohio State missed its window with C.J. Stroud than C.J. Stroud let Ohio State down in some way over these two years. Much more discussion on Buckeye Talk. Find the podcast wherever you can find pods. 614-350-3315 for our news and analysis. It keeps coming. Straight through the offseason, there's going to be a lot of news just the next couple weeks from Buckeye Talk.